Alleluia, sing to Jesus, is the scepter, he is the throne. Alleluia, he is the triumph, he is the victory alone. Hark the songs of peace, full Zion, turn the like a mighty flood. Jesus, out of every blessing, had redeemed us by His blood. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So uh, again, today uh, it's just Caesar and, and, and me. And uh, we're also going to be transitioning now from um, uh, opening up the Mass for parishioners of St. Mary. So you will be seeing some people who will be participating in a Mass as the, as the cantor, as the lector, as the cameraman. And uh, so uh, you will be seeing uh, other people. So for sure, we will be missing uh, Cesar and, and, uh, and, and, and Catherine. We, th we thank them for, for all the help that they've given us in, in, in these uh, past few weeks wherein we're doing this, this Mass. So brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned sin in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Paul and Barnabas were at Lystra, some Jews came there from Antioch and Iconium and won over the crowds. Then they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples surrounded him, he got up and went into the city. The next day he went on with Barnabas to Derbe. After Paul and Barnabas had proclaimed the good news to that city and had made many disciples, they returned to Lystra, then on to Iconium and Antioch. There they strengthened the souls of the disciples and encouraged them to continue in the faith, saying, It is through many persecutions that we must enter the kingdom of God. And after they had appointed elders from them in each church, with prayer and fasting, they entrusted them to the Lord, in whom they had come to believe. Then they passed through Pisidia and came to Pamphylia. When they had spoken the word in Persia, they went down to Atalia. From there they sailed back to Antioch, where they had been command, commended to the grace of God for the work they had completed. When they arrived, they called the church together and related all that God had done with them and how he had opened a door of faith for the Gentiles. And they stayed there with the disciples for some time. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. They make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an, uh, an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. The Lord is faithful in all his ways and gracious in all his deeds. My mouth will speak to the praise of the Lord, and all flesh will bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When the hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, Jesus said to the disciples, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before the curse so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us be on our way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, we continue to to follow the journey of uh, Paul and Barnabas, and uh, they're, they're 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 models for us as as Christians. And we see here they they would go from town to town, and they would proclaim the good news. And yet we see how uh, the the people uh, receive that message. It it says here that when they were in Lystra, they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. Uh, uh, I've never been stoned, but uh, I know how painful it is, right? Like, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, for, for, uh, for you uh, to be stoned, and the goal is for you to, to die, it's painful, really painful, okay? And uh, so, you know, they, they, they suppose that he was already dead, So what happened there, the disciples surrounded him and they prayed over him. He got up. What did he do? You know, he he did not fall into self-pity, pity party and like that. No. He went up. He and Barnabas went to other towns and proclaimed the good news. Okay? And then, you you see here, there was no fear in, in Paul and Barnabas. They went back again to Lystria. Okay? They went back again to Lystria, and, they, and there they strengthened the souls of the disciples and encouraged them to continue in the faith. Okay? And I could just imagine Paul with a black eye, with, with, with the busted lips, uh, with bandages you know, uh, over his head and, and all, all over his body, and, and, and walking with crutches, and then he's exhorting the disciples. 
What did he say? He said, It is through many persecutions that we must enter the kingdom of God. Imagine yourself being the disciples, witnessing Paul with all the bandages and crutches, giving this testimony, giving this encouragement to all of you. You will be inspired. This person does, does not just talk the talk. This person walk the talk. Okay? He experienced that. Okay? So, he, he experienced a lot of the difficulty. That's why he was able to encourage other disciples who are undergoing also great difficulty. So, what are you going through right now? What difficulty are you going through right now? And, and maybe sometimes, maybe we just look at the problem and focus on the problem. And we don't, and we don't see the potential on how God will be able to use your difficulty in life, whatever that is, financial, relational, uh, legal, uh, whatever, spiritual, whatever you're going through. And as you experience the mercy, the love, the healing from God, you will be a better credible witness to other people. Okay? And, 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 and you will be able to encourage others even more because they saw how you struggled and how you had great faith in God and how God is using your past to give, to give glory to God and also for the salvation of souls. Nothing that happens in your past, in your present, that will not be useful. All, all, everything, all the difficulties that you're go going through right now, as you experience healing, liberation, freedom from God, you will be a greater witness to other people. So don't focus on the problem. Focus on the potential of how God will use you in a very powerful way to give testimony of God's love, God's power, God's mercy, God's wisdom. And by doing that, you will be able to, 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 to bring many people to the Lord. It says here how, how Paul and Barnabas, as, as they continue proclaiming the good news uh, to other people, a lot of people became believers. And that's what we need right now. We need, you know, uh, people uh, who have been through a lot, but have experienced a lot of healing, a lot of power, a lot of grace from the Lord. And we, the Lord needs witnesses to be able to proclaim, to share that message of hope, the gospel, the good news to other people, so that other people would also believe in God. Our risen Lord's greatest gift to us is the peace which the world cannot give. In His name, let us ask the Father for all our needs. That the leaders of the church may strive to bring people everywhere in mutual understanding, cooperation, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That peoples of all nations may work for justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are troubled, afraid, and anxious may find true peace and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That peace and love may reign in our homes and workplaces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may enjoy eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of this Mass, for the repose of the soul of Lorraine Douglas, uh, offered by Marta Peterson, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, grant us the peace we need. Help us to make peace with ourselves, with our neighbors, and most especially with our enemies. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Lord, Amen. hear our prayer.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the, the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given your her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to so acclaim you, O Lord. But it is time of our vault to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, Overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks as you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Terence and Mar Marcel our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Are the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done on earth, on earth as, as it is, it is in, in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this, this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I am worthy that you should enter into my roof, my roof but, but only say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So we're, we're still having some uh, uh, problems with, 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 the, with the technology here, with the live streaming. So for the meantime, what we're doing is we're doing a pre-recording uh, mass. Uh, so that there will be less interruption. Uh, I know it's a great distraction for, for people. And, uh, you know, uh, so hopefully if we are able to troubleshoot the problem, solve it, and then um, we will con we'll continue with the live streaming. So for the meantime, um, uh, we'll be doing this uh, pre-recording uh, uh, mass. Uh, but I still encourage you to please subscribe to the St. Mary's uh, Ottawa uh, YouTube channel so that when we get 1,000 subscribers there, we could live stream uh, in, in, the, in that uh, St. Mary's uh, Ottawa YouTube channel. So, uh, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard Amen. against the, the wickedness and snares, and snares of the, of the devil. devil. May God, God rebuke, rebuke him, we humbly, humbly pray. pray. And with our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Regina Celi, letare, alleluia. Quia, que meruisti portare, alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.